Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into another episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's second topic the Ravens got beat by a one armed, one leg QB. Look, if you have not been under a rock, breaking news has come out earlier on today that Deshaun Watson. The quarterback for the Browns, the Browns team that just came back on the Baltimore Ravens is out for the remainder of the season with a torn shoulder and a high ankle sprain. Let me say this real quick before I go any further. I do not wish injury on any player. I know some people are going to be like, oh, who cares? John, no, no, no. I do not wish injury on any player. That's the way that they make their money. Even though he has a fully guaranteed contract. Shout out to his, his agent. And, <laughs> yo, his agent was putting in work. But seriously, I'm not, I'm, I'm not happy he's hurt and out for the rest of the season. I would never be happy about that. Now, with that being said, the absolute heartache and heartbreak it is to be a Raven fan. Could you imagine this real quick to show you what it means to be a Raven fan and the type of bad luck this team and its fans have? We take the best shot the Browns could give. I repeat, they gave us their best shot and completed a comeback on us. Down two touchdowns, Quarterback has a torn shoulder. It ain't sprained. It's torn. He needs emergency surgery so it does not further injure itself any further. And he has a high ankle sprain, which he wouldn't be able to. He's going to be in a boot for a couple weeks. That player, the player who's out for the rest of the season, was able to complete a comeback against the Baltimore Ravens. But because we are such you know, the type of team that we are, and, you know, the most inopportune things that happen to our team, it now makes the Browns an easier opponent for the Steelers and the Bengals. <laughs> and you know what makes it worse? Even worse, the Bengals play bad. Historically bad versus the Browns. And the Browns traded Dobbs. So it's not even like their backup is of high quality or stock. <laughs> oh, bro. I Man, let me tell you this right now. I'm just watching. And if no one knows who Dobbs is, Dobbs is the quarterback that was traded to the, the Minnesota Vikings who is now playing his butt off. He is absolutely playing his butt off and doing his thing and has them back in the playoff race in Minnesota. Okay, he's won his last two games. That's what it means to be a Raven fan. Absolutely sickening. I'm distraught. Like, bro. Uh, could you imagine? Seriously, could you imagine a player that can't fully put up their arm through for or went 14 of 14 and threw for almost 140 yards against us in the second half for a touchdown. And we couldn't say, yo, let's stop him. He didn't have his full range of motion for running or throwing. And he still put on a, a, a absolute second half domi um, domination on our defense. <laughs> And now, because of the uh, because of the absolute uh, what's it called wreckage our team put on his body, our defensive unit put on his body. Now we got his best, but now that's literally they spent up all of their magic fairy dust because they're not going to have enough to go against these other teams. Now it's pretty much their defense is going to have to be their offense and defense, bruh. Oh, we lost against a one-armed quarterback, bro. <laughs> To his throwing shoulder. Yeah. Ah, 
Bro, you can't write this stuff any funnier, bro. You really can't. You really can't. My Lord, a guy that can't fully run runs all over you. A guy that can't fully throw throws all over you. And on top of uh, throwing all, he goes perfect against you guys. <laughs> oh, bro. Yo, the football guys be looking at Raven and Raven and Raven fans. And saying, come here, come here, I gotta tell you something. Get really close to me. And looking at us in the face. And right as we turn our ear to them, this is them every single time. Oh! Every single time. Open hand, slap to the face. Slap the taste out your mouth. Slap you so hard. Slap you into another nationality. <laughs> Wake up, black. Open back your eyes. You're Asian. Shout out to... Everybody hates Chris. Woo! It just. We've literally made it easier for the Bengals to make back and come into the playoffs. The Browns have historically done well against that team. <laughs> we just made it easier for them. I, uh, Man, look at here, bro. And one, remember. It's not just saying that because if the Browns come out of the playoff picture, it leaves an open, it leaves an open spot for somebody else to claim. It's a double edge. It's a it's a double blow, because they get lower and makes it easier for the Bengals to get it and go into that spot. Now we have to hope the Chargers or one of those other teams fill that spot and not them or Denver fills that spot. Denver's coming in on back strong. We gotta hope. NFL season's wild. See, injuries can make all the difference in the world, and now you're seeing it for yourself. My gosh. My gosh. Ha! Ah. Oh, man. This one hurts. This one surely does hurt, man. Jesus. We lost to... We lost to a guy that can't run a throw. <laughs> Bruh. The adrenaline that was going through Deshaun Watson's body, bro, had to be like, you remember when Charlie Harper used to say, I got, I got uh, 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 super blood, dragon's blood, lion's blood, tiger's blood. Y'all remember the guy from Two and a Half Men? Great show, by the way. Two and a Half Men. Oh, my God. The first eight seasons were absolutely magnificent. Great, great show. But, man. That's what it means to be a Raven fan. I'm so sick. Ugh. But what do you guys think? Do you think that this opens the door for the uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals to make a push for a playoff spot? Or can the Browns somehow rally amongst each other um, to use this as a battle cry to get themselves and keep themselves in the playoff hunt? Let me know what you think down in the comment section, please. But as always, that's the episode of the Wonder Kin. Thank you for watching. Y'all know we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Before we go any further, I want to give another big shout out to two people. Two different people. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, just one person. I want to give a shout out to Rosemary Patton. For the twenty dollar donate show, oh. Oh, you guys are sitting there donating, making this the best way possible, supporting this channel, supporting this platform, helping this platform build. Man, I love you guys. That's such an amazing thing to Rosemary Patton. Uh, you know. It takes a lot to make this content, and I know what it is, and I know what it means to work for a dollar. And, you know, everybody right now is going through it. Inflation has been beating people down, literally, and you guys are still donating. So thank you, guys. You make this so much worth it to do this channel. But like always, The Wonder Can Show, um, if you have not already checked out the Patreon, go ahead and check that out. That's located in the description of every video that we do. And, the name of, um, and you can just go from there or in the description to check where it is okay please also remember like subscribe hit that notification bell leave a comment you know all of the comments and if you want to leave a donation like you saw uh miss rosemary do right 
bottom of the screen QR code QR codes to a cash app cash app located in the description of every video that we do and the name of it is money sign the wonder can show super easy and like I said that helps out with all the new equipment and stuff like that it's helped us get so much equipment and we're getting more stuff uh, we're going we're putting away for cameras new cameras so yeah that's what we're doing but once again it's the wonder can show this show is Nitro signing off and as always you know my slogan peace I am out of here hmm. you're